I think it's recording. Okay, good. Um, my tripod is now actually that. I hope it's the correct height. Anywho, um, eh, this will be out of the way because it's just cluttering the floor. Better background, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, anybody worth their weight in um, crafting stuff? knows that when you're trying to make something, you want reference material. And uh, before you start, you go on the internet and you find all the pictures you can and, and just get familiarized with what you're working on. This is an element gun, as is not referred to in the, the Marvel comic world, um, or as you may know it as a quad blaster, one of these. You'll, you, need, you may notice it's no longer orange. I did something to it. Yes, I painted it. And, wow, that's on there pretty good. Oh. Because <laughs> cause it's right here. I thought it was on, but it's not. And it's on the floor. So, oh my goodness. Okay. So, yes. This is... Oh, wow. I just saw... <laughs> I thought I got that off of there. The caution label. I don't think uh, Star-Lord actually had a caution label on his electrical device. You know, this is going to have to get uh, pasted over or something. So, that's fine. Um, this is basically the uh, the base for the oh I missed the screw <laughs> look a squirrel now uh, I had filled this with uh, heavy construction adhesive this is the stuff they use to keep bricks and mortar in place and things like that and this is the brand hang on it's made by Loctite. It's PL375 Heavy Duty. That's the label, right? Um, in order to use this, you have to take some kind of a pokey device and puncture the film that's in here. Because the first time I do, it's like, why isn't this coming out? That's why. Um, all right. So the, uh, the cowlings on the top and bottom... Top one is one piece, bottom one is another one piece. I've cut it so that it would seat in with this line right here. On the top one, I can't because there's, uh, when I put this on, this little device, little uh, swing arm, which was built to make the whole top cowling come up so you can use the darts. Uh, I've left it on there so it would line things up. And in so doing, keep the length. But there will be a gap roughly right about here. All this electronic -y whatever stuff is going to be exposed. On the bottom it will not because it seats in making the weapon uh, space accurate for the, where the nozzles come. And I still have to add some stuff to the end of it to make it more screen accurate. So what I intend to do with that bit is take even more gray stuff. This is two-part of Plumber's Poxy. Epoxy. And it's really simple clay doughy -Doh -E stuff and it's very sticky, but you'll notice, and I'll put this near the camera here, you'll see that there's a little light gray on the inside and the outside is a dark gray. You mix this up as if you're you know, mucking around with some Play-Doh. And once it all turns one color, you have a very finite amount of time to apply this. So my advice to you, should you choose to use this product, is to slice off just a little bit at a time and go with that. Because as you're molding it onto the piece you're trying to work with, you're going to discover that it gets hard pretty quick. And after that, it becomes as hard as a rock. You hear that? Those are shavings and bits and pieces from when I have been working with this before. And I'll show you. Here, this is... Hear that? It's a stone. That's what this stuff turns into. Um, now, when I sand this stuff down I get a fine powder and I'll probably I got a lot of pieces in here but uh, I should just throw those away I'll use those but the, my, my, my work surface becomes covered with this dust so I take a razor blade or a, or a flat edge or a file I just kind of collect it all I take the cap to my little gum container and into this the reason I keep this is because when I use the other best friend of crafters the crazy glue. Crazy glue will stick to your fingers and the universe if you're not careful. So have a little pinch of this on hand after you run your bead, sprinkle it on top, wait maybe a half second, and then run your finger across the top. And you'll discover that you've just created um, maritime boat resin 
<laughs> so this it, it becomes hard as concrete and is easier to file pretty much immediately. So that's that's a nice little tip. Um, another product I like to use because I get into so much trouble with these digits. Uh, by that I mean I get dirty. <laughs> Goop off. Goop off will take anything off of everything. That's pretty much it there. Aside from uh, the use of Gorilla Tape to adhere things together, <laughs> Goof Off's my second best friend. All right, so getting back to the element gun, what I've done is I've put the back caps on and I've uh, re-adhered everything with, you see the screws all in there, which I'm going to fill with the plumber's putty. And yes, I know I painted it, but <laughs> It's going to get repainted anyway, so I'm going to have to... I just wanted it gray. <laughs> uh, at any rate, where was I? That's right. Um, I thought the camera was running earlier when I was actually putting all of this goop inside of the chambers for this. So you'll probably reference some images that I've taken during the process, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So where, where am I in the build as a whole? Um, I know that I'll be somewhere once I start putting thread to fabric, and I've not done that yet because I want all the props ready. Um, one last note, when you buy uh, this weapon at Toys R Us or online or wherever you go, if you put it on a scale, you'll find that it, it doesn't weigh very much. It's meant to be used for children, and it's good and light, and you can run around with it and toss it and whatever. It's pretty durable stuff. But... Once you add all the fishing weights and the construction adhesive to it, this goes from being maybe seven ounces to two and a half pounds. And this presents another issue. How the heck am I going to keep these on my legs? Um, it's a good thing I, I picked up a lot of production stills from the produ uh, production of Gar Gal Guardians of the Galaxy because I discovered that the pants that Chris Pratt wore had suspenders. I'm like, ah, that makes sense. So... I'm probably going to have bruises here because I'll have five pounds of weight on each uh, on my leg and to keep my pants from falling down. The biggest challenge now is to find the 3D rendering of the holster piece that fits onto the leather uh, substrate and have that be made of metal rather than plastic because this is heavy. This is, uh, this is Star Lord Man or Lewis if you know me personally. And I uh, hope to talk to you soon with uh, a more completed version of this eventually.